close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, where do you feel the breathing? Focus your attention there. And ask yourself, does the breathing feel comfortable? You could try long breathing for a while to see how that feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Make it shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Take some time to get settled here in the present moment with the breath, with a sense of ease and well-being. Bring the mind and the body together. Bring them into harmony. Otherwise, the mind is pushing out all the time, wants to see this, wants to see that, and leaves the body unprotected. You're not taking care of the body, and when you're not taking care of the body, it's like not taking care of your house. You're running around all the time, but then when you really need shelter, you come back to the house, and it's not a nice place to stay. So put them together, the body and the mind looking after each other, bring them into harmony. This way both sides get strengthened. This is a good principle to remember, especially today as we're coming together to get ready for the Gitin. Lots of people coming with lots of ideas about what would be a good way to run the Gitin and arrange this and arrange that. And the main purpose we're all here for is to do good together. But it's to be expected, there are going to be differences of opinion, where we learn how to not make our own opinions quite so important and give some importance to other people's opinions, and give some forgiveness whenever there's any, any conflict. That way the goodness of the, the Gaten spreads around to everybody and goes all the way through the Ngan, and not just through the donation or just through this or that thing, but the whole spirit of the Ngan. It's one done in harmony. So we should be remember that everybody's here with good intentions. And some people's intentions are more skillful than others, but you just take that as part of human life. It's much better than when people come together with bad intentions. At least we're here for a good purpose. If we learn how to work together for a good purpose, then we can do a lot that we couldn't do on our own. The Gatin is nothing that any one person can do. It requires the cooperation of a lot of people. It's like thread. One thread on its own can't hold a lot of weight, but if you weave it into a cloth, you can use the cloth to carry things that you wouldn't be able to do with just one thread. So in the same way, when we all work together, then we can create a sense of well-being, we can c complete what needs to be done. So everybody will agree that yes, it was good that we came together, and we created something of, of value, something of importance, which we couldn't have done on our own. So remember this principle of harmony. It starts from inside as you get the mind to be able to stay with the body. Looking after the body, the body will then provide a good place for the mind to stay when it needs, needs it, and then letting that principle of harmony spread outside. So the fact that we're living together is not a cause for suffering, it's actually a cause for happiness. As I say, it's harmony within the group is what brings happiness. So do your best to make sure that the day is harmonious. Each of us can do our little bit, and it all adds up.